Hey YouTube, this is the iPhone Helper. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, app or app reviews, I should say, on my favorite utilities applications. Um, some of these are paid for and some of these are free. I will be telling the prices and uh, a little description about each one that I like. So, once again, these are my top 10. These are in no particular order, but um, let's get started. So, one of my first ones would be Converter Units. Um, this is a free application. Um, it's uh, pretty much got everything you need. Very simple. You got uh, gradient, gradients, uh, radians. You can do degrees. You got angles, area, data, energy, force, length, mass, power, pressure, speed, temperature, time, volume, custom, and more apps. But um, it's really good. There are some other uh, converters out there that you can get that are paid for and free. However, um, I just prefer this one because it's uh, very simple to use. And um, yeah. So my next application would be Dropbox. Um, whoops. For those of you that don't know what Dropbox is, is it's basically a uh, wireless USB cord. Um, what you can only you don't sync it with iTunes. What you're able to do is download the uh, computer desktop application Dropbox and you are able to file share uh, documents, photos, uh, videos, music, stuff like that. So if you're, let's say you're downstairs in, on a computer and you want to get a funny picture or video on your iPod without having to sync it, you just drag and drop the file into the Dropbox on the desktop and in about five minutes it will have transferred to your iPod. The only downside to this application is that it only um, allows you to have two gigabytes of memory stored um, and then you have to either uh, delete some stuff on it or you have the option to buy uh, more gigabytes but um, yeah. So um, that's pretty much that. When, um, Sorry, uh, the next application would be iTranslate. Uh, basically, what this is is a translator. I'm not going to get too in depth with that. Uh, you just type in whatever you want, your language, and then your target lang language. And for this case, it would be uh, English to German. I have no clue what I typed. But um, yeah, and then you can s let it speak, even though. It's not going to speak it because it doesn't know how, or that word. Um, next would be one of my favorite utilities would be Office Plus Pro. This is a free, or not free, um, well it is a free uh, application. However, if you would like to save your uh, documents or uh, spreadsheets, you do have to pay $299 or $299 for a uh, one-time uh, pay and then you have it for the rest of the time. But what it is, is uh, a basically Word document um, on here. You just type in the name of your document and then you are able to just start typing. You can highlight it and then you can change the font size make it 72 or you can uh, middle align it, you can uh, indent, you can put bullets, or you can put numbers. Um, let's see, you can put uh, bold, you can italicize, you, you can, what else? Um, you can do a lot of things with it, you can fill in the color pick your color, stuff like that, or you can uh, spell check it, do a word count, like there's, in that one there's one word, characters, and all that, you can do spell check, um, or if you have an e-print printer, you can print it uh, straight from here, or like I said in Dropbox, you can just save it and uh, send it through Dropbox, and you'll have it on your computer. So. Um, that's basically that part. Also, you can do um, you can do a workbook, 
which it's pretty cool. Um, I don't really use it that much unless I have to. But you can do little spreadsheets and stuff like that, and you can save them and all that good stuff. So that's basically uh, Office Plus uh, Pro. Once again, that is $2.99 uh, for a full version where you are able to save it. But if you just kind of want to mess around with it, um, it is free. Also, I forgot to mention that iTranslate, they do have a free version or you can get the paid version. Uh, next uh, would be Mover. Um, I have Mover Plus, which I believe is, I think, $0.99 cents or $1.99, I'm not sure. But they also have a Mover Lite, which is uh, the free version. However, you cannot send uh, over Bluetooth and you cannot do, uh, you cannot send videos. But um, what it is is you basically just add a contact or a photo or a video. Um, let's say I just want to add a photo. I'll pick um, funny picture sur or just surfing. You would, or no, not that one. You would pick your picture and then press, oops, press that. And then it will lo be located on your mover uh, I don't know what you call it home screen home page and then if you have another iPod or iPhone or iPad whatever you can just swipe it and it'll go to the other iPod touch uh, iPhone or iPad and it will be uh, uploaded onto that device as well uh, so that's pretty cool uh, next would be uh, AppBot Pro. This is basically the number one utilities app. I, I would think because it has so many great applications. I mean, look how many pages of just free applications that it comes with. Oops. And this is ninety nine cents, but um, I believe it is so worth it. Uh, just because I'll just name a couple of the great things you can do. Um, a contact safe. Uh, you got your weather, a soundboard, uh, flashlight, paint, tip calculator, um, traffic, fake calling, crazy laws, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, holidays, lights, jokes, uh, web applications, fun email, shortcuts, uh, referee calls. Uh, person search, uh, reverse phone call, uh, Google Talk, um, fart machine, Gmail, um, earthquakes, date calculator, music timer, and all this really great stuff plus a lot more. Um, I just think it's a really great application to have. Just fun to play around with, use, show off, stuff like that. Um, my next application would be AccuWeather. This is a free application. Uh, they do have a paid version. However, I'm fine with the free version. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what the free version does is you just put in your location or um, it'll take your location for you. It shows your weather, uh, what it feels like, the time, humidity, visibility, the sunrise, the sunset, the pressure. Uh, precipitation, uh, the dew point, and the wind. It'll show you uh, the weather. Oh, let me see if I can focus this in. The weather for the week. Um, you can do the maps, and it'll show you where it's at, um, like that. You can watch videos that have been uploaded, or you can uh, do news, lifestyle, and your settings. So kinda cool I think it's a lot better than the uh, weather application that already comes pre-installed on the iDevices uh, especially for being free however if you do decide to get the uh, paid version uh, obviously you won't have to have the ads on it as you can see at the top and you will be able to have a couple more um, tabs that you can pick through so yeah uh, next would probably be uh, iSilo. Uh, what this is is a, uh, I believe it's a P PDB file reader. Um, what I what you use it for is basically uh, books. You can use it for uh, documents, uh, all that stuff. 
Um, what I personally have on it is the Watchtower Library. Uh, it's got pretty much everything on it. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to get too crazy into that just because there's not a lot to get into, but it's a really great application to have. Um, by the way, that is $9.99. Whoops. But, um... Oops, sorry. Hold on. But, um, I believe it is very worth the, uh, price on it. Um, lastly, or I'm sorry, not lastly, oh, uh, my next application would be HPI print. Um, this is basically a, uh, a, um, alternative for the new, uh, 4.2 firmware update for the, uh, printing. However, uh, I, most of you may know if you have the 4.2 software update on your iDevice, you can have the option to print, only uh, you will have to have an ePrint printer. So, um, this is, if you do not have one of those, this is a great alternative if you have an HP Wi-Fi printer. Uh, what you do is you basically just uh, pick a photo that you want, um, and then it, right now it says no printers available. Um, I don't have my printer set up right now because we had a power outage, so got to go reset that. But it'll show a printer up here. You can pick your paper size and image size. And then you just press print, and it will print to that computer wirelessly. The downside is you can't do direct uh, print web pages. However, it's not that big of a deal because what you can do is just go on your web and take a photo snapshot um, of the web page if you don't know how to do it all you do is press the home button and the power button at the same time and it will take a snapshot of the the on screen page and you can just go under your photos and print it from there um, also what you can do on here is uh, one of my favorites is you can do uh, saved files which is basically a photo, uh, photo sharing so if you say, let's say you went on a vacation recently and you have all your photos on your computer or on your iPod and you want to get them to your, uh, transfer them to your computer or from your computer to your iPod, all you do is go to your uh, web address that it uh, provides you, I'm not going to show you mine just for uh, safety reasons, and you just select the photos that you want from either uh, computer or iPod or iPad or iPhone, whatever, and it will transfer them to uh, whatever device you want or a computer. So um, I really like that. The only downside is if you want to save it to your camera roll, you have to um, save it, save each photo individually one by one. So if you have, let's say, 500 photos from vacation, you have to click save save photo, save photo 500 times, so it's kind of downside, but it's still pretty cool. Um, also, you can do scanner. Um, I don't really use that because I don't have it set up. And you can do a camera, which basically you just take a picture from right there, and um, it will, uh, you can send it, scan it, save it, whatever. Um, lastly, um, it my last, uh, um, sorry, my last utility would be Dictionary. Uh, this is a free application. You can uh, get the paid one or the free one. I prefer the free one just because it's basically the same thing, just without ads. Um, what you can do is you just search a word. I'll put a uh, hug. Um, and then it will give you all the listings. You can do a voice search. Like, uh, you can go, um, tap it, dictionary, oh, whoops, I accidentally pressed the home button, but, um, anyway, it'll search it and stuff like that, so, uh, that was my top 10, uh, utility applications, um, I will be doing another video on some more applications very soon. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions on um, Apple-related uh, products, I can try my best to answer those for you. So if you have a question, just uh, leave it in the comments, um, and I will try to answer those as quickly as possible. So um, thanks for watching. Later.